Hi, good morning. My name is Nathan Clark. I'm coming to you from TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Fountain, Colorado. Today I'm going to do a walk around on the 2023 Newmar Dutch Star 4081. I'd like to start from the outside. Come on over. A couple of nice features and benefits. You've got your gas tank on both sides. It is a, is a diesel uh, pusher. You have 100 gallons, so you can fill it from both sides. It makes it a lot faster fill. It's a unique feature. A lot of people are actually asking for it. The Dometic refrigerator freezer on a tray. The nice thing about this is it actually has two different drawers. You can control separately on the side controls. You can control the temperatures. You can have a refrigerator or a freezer or both. Nice place to fill up the beer supply there. It is on a tray. You also have a power cord up in the top there, 110 outlet. This one's nice. This is a super extension tray here, lower bay door. In this one, we actually have some additional tiles just in case you crack a tile, you can actually replace it without having to find the pattern again. You also have an air hose in there. Nice thing about these trays is you can actually pull anything from the middle of your coach all the way out and you actually can access it. It is open, you can open it from both sides. Normally I'd have the uh, two Gerard bifold awnings out, but we're expecting high winds today, so I figured I'd just be cautious. I wanna make sure I protect the quality of the camper. It does have wind sensing awnings, so that when you do get a gust of wind, uh, it will actually pull itself in. So if you're actually going out hiking, you don't have to worry about them. I'm just being proactive. You have a Samsung uh, TV outside. You also have a, a sound bar. Nice thing about the soundbar is you don't necessarily have to use the TV. You can actually pair with the soundbar and actually play music out, outside, uh, especially if you're tailgating or hanging out with friends and just kind of chilling without having to distract them by the TV. Inside here, you have another slide tray. Pretty good size. I mean, sometimes people put their RV cover on there and additional camping equipment, chairs, golf clubs, whatever you may need. It's easily accessible. You can put two bags of full clubs right there. Inside here, these white boxes, you can actually control in and out controls for the awnings. So if you're down here in the bays and you say, hey, you know what, I wanna pull them out or, or close them up, you can do that from there. Here's the pegboard. The pegboard is actually on the outside of the 105 gallon freshwater tank. There's also some additional shelves here where you can put additional fluids or uh, tools, whatever you might want. Put the plug in the pegs and then you can actually hang tools that you might need. You have your diesel exhaust fluid. It is a 13 gallon tank, additional shelf in there, you have your chassis battery with your battery disconnect back there. When you have it plugged in, it's nice to keep the power running through your batteries. When you don't have it plugged in or you put it in storage, you want to turn off those batteries so you don't drain them. And trust me, you'll do that once. <laughs> All right, we're on a Freightliner XCR chassis. This is an 8.9 liter Cummins diesel engine. Has 450 horsepower with 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. Nice thing about having that size of an engine is you actually increase your fuel or your towing capacity by 5,000 from the standard up to a 15,000 pound towing capacity. This is already set up with the air brake system. So all you have to do is set up your vehicle 
for the Air Force One flat tow capabilities. Another nice thing about the way this engine is set up is all your, all your fluids are actually easily accessible right here so you don't have to reach in over the engine. You have your Oasis hot water hydronic system. It'll heat your water and your air. It's diesel and electric. You also have your oil and your transmission dipsticks, power steering fluid. You have your, uh, your fuel water separator. You also have your air filter test and all your exhaust filters and all that. Easily accessible. Two different camera systems on it. One camera so you can keep an eye on your flat tow vehicle. You've also got another camera up there that'll assist you in parking. Uh, it makes it easier to move around when you can actually see where you're going. LED lights on the brakes. This is a side-mounted radiator. Nice thing about a side-mounted radiator is it increases the inside space so you can actually have a bigger uh, bath and a half uh, bathroom in this. Lots of extra cabinet space. You'll notice on the other side, you actually had your diesel exhaust fluid uh, reservoir. You can also fill it from this side as well. Storage for a sewage hose. Got to keep that out of the other bays. Here's your wet bay. One of the nice things about this, if you, if you didn't notice it, at first, but see how the drawer, the door drops down and so it doesn't come in contact with the slide when the slide's out. Inside here we've got the green fluid. This actually means that this unit is winterized. Here in Colorado we do have very old, variable changing weather. Uh, one day it's beautiful like today and tomorrow it could be freezing. So we like to keep them in the best condition before we release them to new clients. You have a freshwater hose nice thing about that is it also has a power reel that can bring it back in for you. You also have a water filtration system for the entire coach. You have a hot, hot, cold outside shower. You also have a place for your paper towels. Anything to do with sewage is a dirty job, so it's nice to, you know, have a place for additional storage like paper towels or gloves or whatever you might need. The sewage rinse, this is going to wash down your black water tank so you don't have to get in there and get dirty as, as much as possible. Nice thing about the way this is all set up is this is all etched onto the aluminum. That's not going to come off. Your black and gray water tank drains, you can also drain it through the floor, run the hoses through the floor there so you don't have to have this compartment door open. Here's your power reel. It does have a power button right here. So you pull it out manually. Nice thing about a power reel is when you put, when you're bringing it in, you can actually put your foot on the bottom of it rather than guiding it in with your hands. So it keeps your hands relatively cleaner than bringing everything from the ground up into your um, electric bay here. It is lighted so you can see what's going on in there. This is your Oasis Chinook hot water hydro, uh, hydronic heating system. It'll run off of diesel or electricity, whichever is the most efficient source possible. This is the other side of that tray that has the additional tiles in it. You can pull it out from the other side. Lots of room, easy access. These are your chassis batteries. They're also on a tray. Nice thing about that is you pull the pins, you can pull it out, easy access. If you need to replace batteries or anything, work on them, you can actually work them on them out here rather than tucked inside. Oh, one more thing. Fuel on this side as well. I do have the G diesel generator running right now. Notice how quiet it is. The 
this is the release to get into the engine compartment. Right. I like these support arms that are keeping the, the, uh, the hood open. 8,000 watt generator. It'll actually service everything inside the coach. You do have an air hose. You also do have a hot water system. Uh, actually a faucet so you can drain from there. And an outdoor light so you can, if you have to work on this at night, you can actually see it from there. I'm gonna shut down the uh, generator from here. You can control the generator from inside or outside. This is also equipped with power window awnings. So if you don't have the, awning, the full awnings out, you can actually have nice coverage so you're not getting glare of the light from the outside. This also has a door awning. So if it's raining, you actually can have some protection from getting in and out of the coach. But we don't have that problem today. Come on inside. One of the unique things about the Newmar Dutch Star is it's got a doorbell. You don't always have to open the door. You just people come in. Come on in. Okay, so what I have, I have all the slides in so you can see how accessible it is to go all the way to the back bedroom. I mean, it is kind of snug in here, but you do have access. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is you don't have to have the slides out to use the bedroom. You have a pocket door for the bathroom. So with the slides in, imagine you're going down the highway, you need to use the restroom. You can just come in and take care of that. You can also open your refrigerator freezer. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna open up the slides. Nice thing about Newmar slides is they're very well built. They actually created the slide in 1986. And they've perfected them ever since. Quiet operation. Smooth, kind of like it's well thought of. And I'm going to move back behind you there. And I'm going to open up the slides in the front. Come on back. Now your, your front controls are gonna be up here by the driver. Basically press and hold. Unique thing about the way the Dutch Star is designed, it's actually on a cog system which actually has a chain in there. It'll, it'll actually come against the wall and it'll set down. It's all in one motion so you don't have to worry about having a step up to the slide room. And notice that you've got more floor in there. The more floor system is gonna put the tiles actually in the slide. And when it goes down flush with the floor, you don't have a seam. Notice how smooth that is. And on this one, we actually have slide locks that fasten themselves when you bring the slide all the way in. That prevents any excess moisture. Nice smooth movement. There we go. All right. So what we have here is we have a sleeper sofa. We also have a televator on this side. And with the televator, you push it from this side because this is where you're normally sitting to watch TV. I'm gonna go up above and show you some different options here as well as down below. You have storage compartments. 
Inside the storage compartments, they are carpeted, so things don't move around very much while you're driving down the road. This is your audio visual. This is where people put DVDs and stuff like that. This is your sound bar up above. Like I said, you can just have the radio on and increase your sound quality and if you're just hanging out. Lots of room inside. Carpeted. Coming to the kitchen. I like this kitchen. And the reason why I like this kitchen is because it's all electric. The way it's designed is it's designed to not have the use for propane. So with that being said, you've got your induction stove. You also have cutting boards underneath them. So you don't, it, just in case you forget to bring a cutting board, you've got them right here. You actually have two of them. The unique thing about induction stoves, you can actually take them out and use them outside. Also, you have a magnetic connection. So if a child touches the induction stove when it's on, they're not gonna burn their hands. Only if they touch the frying pan would they get the true heat there. Uh, it's also flush in the countertop here. Nice Corian countertop. Up above here, you have additional storage. You also have a pull-out tray, owner's manuals, anything that you might want or need to know about. It's got a whole book with Numar in there. And they, what the owner's manuals are basically designed to do is kind of give you a, a once through with understanding how to use and operate each uh, appliance within the coach. This is a really nice setup on the sink below the counter, but it's on the outside. So you actually have, it's kind of like a designer sink. Nice thing about that is you actually can use both sides if you need to. Residential faucet. I'm just gonna put this up right there. We've got all of your uh, control um, clickers, TV clickers. You also have your shades, so you can actually choose Actually, these are for your bed, I'm sorry. <laughs> you have a uh, sleep number so you can control how, how high that is. Now, with this, you can actually put your slides down. If you got, that's gonna be the all button. So you have your privacy that you need. Inside here, you also have paint touch up. You have a dishwasher, and without the power on, I can't open it, but that's good. This little guy right here. Additional counter space and cabinetry. It's pretty deep. A lot of times people use the dishwasher for putting pots and pans in there for additional storage. Underneath the sink. You've got a pull-out tray for your trash can. You can also have a pull-out tray for cleaning supplies. Nice solid latches so they don't come open when you're driving down the road. This is a silver leaf system. Nice thing about this is you can actually access anything that you need to know about your coach. Going through your home button is going to tell you all your tank size and all that. You also have what your power system's doing. You've got your floor heat. You can actually turn on the heated floor, low, medium, and high. Nice thing about that is you can walk around in your socks without um, just kind of relaxing, you know. You've got your fan systems, all your fans above your kitchen, your your bathroom, right? Also the stool room. You can actually control the the, temp, the, uh, the speed of those. Also, if it starts to rain, you can press that and it'll override. Uh, it senses moisture and it'll actually close on its own. 
HVAC, the nice thing about this is you have three different sections. You actually can turn it on or off just by that button. You can control what they do. You can do, if you're just hanging out at the campsite and you don't want to run all your uh, furnace and everything, put it on your heat pump and it'll run off your electricity and keep your coach warm. You can also pair it together with the Connected Solutions app. Uh, so you can actually control these from outside your coach. With the lighting system, it's nice. You can press all off or all on. This is your bathroom. It's a really nice bathroom. It's really thoughtfully designed. Let me open up some of those compartments there so you can see what you've got for storage. Medicine cabinets. Inside this one is your electrical. You actually have your switchboard there for your circuit breakers. You also have some 110 outlets up above for your floor heat. Down below, Got storage underneath the sink. Down below, more storage. Toilet paper roll holder. I just have a towel holder in there as well. Got a ceiling fan. Or vent. All right. Coming into the bedroom. This is a king size bed. Underneath the king size bed, I have additional tables, or chairs and leaves for the table. And I'll show you how that works in just a moment. So you've got two extensions and two additional chairs. In the storage compartments, we have additional uh, storage up above. We also have 110 outlets up, up here so you can actually keep like CPAP machines in there and you can run the hoses down through the corner here on both sides so each person has an opportunity to have both of those systems you have an end table you also have storage underneath each one and we'll open up the other side so you can see that got your not your hole in the back there so you can bring the hoses down additional storage up above now when you're laying in the bed here this is unique a system right here when you lay down to bed and you realize gosh you know what i forgot to turn off the lights you can turn all your lights off right here or you can do all lights off so nice and accessible so when you climb when you're cutting out for the end of the day it's nice to be able to turn off the lights if you need to each different compartment throughout the bedroom the bathroom and the living room they each have a uh, heating element for the floor so with your heated floor you can have it be just warm in here or just warm in the living room or just warm in the bathroom, whatever you need. It's kind of nice to have a heated floor, especially in the wintertime. Let's go around to the different compartments inside the bedroom here. You have a very deep closet. Lots of shirts and pants. Big Samsung TV. Another deep closet. I'm gonna open up all the drawers. Now with these, they have a nice solid latch. So they're not, when you go down the road, you're not gonna be worrying about them opening up. Nice deep drawers, dovetail 
construction. And then this is for your audio visual down here. So you can actually have your DVD player for your TV. I like this more floor system so you actually have more floor space on the slide. Let's come on into the bathroom here. This first compartment here, I'm gonna open it up here. You have a stackable Splendid washer dryer. You have a towel hanger. And if you look back over here on this panel, you also have a light control up here. You also have your water and your fan control system. You also have your heated floor system. And you can also turn on your generator if you need. Nice thing about this closet is it's actually quite a bit deeper. So you can actually have long dresses that you need to hang up and coats. And that is the safe in there. Down below, you've got some additional storage. Nice deep drawers. Lots of room for stuff. I love this under the counter sink. Very stylish. The faucet's really cool too. There's a massive medicine cabinet with a 110 power plug in there. Carpeted. And there's also an, a lip there so things won't slide forward and be ready for you when you open the door. Big storage compartment above the toilet. This one also has the emergency exit door. Now you notice that there's no, there's nothing in the way of it here. So you actually have this, pull this little lever here, the door opens, you can actually have a ladder to climb down if you need to. But a lot of people use this and it's probably the most popular reason for this back door here is you can actually load and unload your camper. So it actually makes it easy to, to stock up all your toiletries, all your towels, your clothing, uh, anything that you would need to go on your trip. This is the shower miser hot water system here. Uh, if you look inside here, it's got a nice solid door. It does also have the uh, the seat, this is optioned in. And a lot of people use the step. It's an adjustable height wand for a shower, for, for spraying off. You also have a full uh, uh, rain system up above. The aqua view system, once the temperature comes to the proper temperature for a hot water shower, you're not worrying about draining your fresh water system into your gray tank until the water is of proper temperature. Very spacious shower. I like the tile system on the walls. Looks very pretty, very nicely designed. There's a step here. Gotta be careful on that. Let me pop open this bed here. I was, I was telling you about the chairs. I'm gonna pop those out here and kind of show you what they all do. I'm gonna grab a sleeve for the table. And I'm gonna grab another sleeve for the table. Now we've got them taped up and covered up just so that we don't scratch them. I 
And I'm going to grab a couple more chairs here. It's nice to have this extra space underneath the bed. In the case that you have friends come over while you're camping, it's nice to have an extra place to play cards or sit at the dinner table and serve four people or six people or however you feel necessary. Very easy to use this, this, this system here. So you have that full extension of the table. Nice setup. Since we're here at the kitchen, you've got a few different, on these drawers, you push them forward to pull them out. All these drawers are lighted and full length. This is your pantry. So you, you fill it how you want. You know, that much, what makes it nice, you know, the benefit of having the lighting in there is that you can see what's all the way in the back. Now, I'm six feet tall and I can just barely touch the end of the drawer. So that gives you an idea how deep those drawers are. Refrigerator, freezer. Got the water system and also the ice maker. This is a residential re refrigerator. Nice deep freezer. Everybody seems to look in here to see how deep that freezer is. So you have an outdoor refrigerator freezer. You also have an indoor refrigerator freezer. So you can definitely fill it up with lots of, lots of goodies. This is a lock. So when you're going down the road, your doors don't fly open and it's really easily adjustable right there it's locked all right additional storage up above everybody's got to have their card games but you've got a lot of room for them up above here this is padded so you don't have to worry about hitting a, a hard object or a hard roof and the design of that basically keeps it Nice and clean, carpet lining, good supports on the latches. Recliners, ah, this is nice. Oh, yeah, I could do this. I'm sure you could too. <laughs> center, st center storage compartment on that theater system. Right behind each uh, recliner, you actually have power plugs. So you can actually plug in uh, USB plugs and different things like that. You have your cup holders. And a nice deep drawer. Above the recliners, you have a lot of storage as well. Coming to the front of the coach, we have a Freightliner French, uh, Freightliner uh, chassis here. A few things around the side here. You have automatic leveling with the HWH system. You point to the mirror you want to adjust. Left, right, middle is off. Heated mirrors. You have your tag dump, you put it on auto. Therefore, if you go into reverse, it automatically handles the way it needs to. Automatic traction control override. Based on different driving conditions in the, uh, in the wet or icy conditions, sometimes you can control what the uh, dual axle does. You also have a front window, so you can slide it in and out. Sometimes when you pull up to a toll booth, uh, 
you obviously want to be able to just slide that window open and take care of what you need to. These are little extra battery boosts. You have a house battery and also the chassis battery. Uh, anything that has to do with the RV, the house battery overrides that. It gives a little bit more additional power. Anything that has to do with the chassis, starting the engine and things like that, that would help you as well. Your lights. You also have your adjustment down below is a foot pedal down below. And you also have extensions on your foot pedals. There's a little knob on the left side of the steering column. This does have the navigation system. Nice thing about that is you, it'll automatically measure the dimensions of the coach. So when you're driving down the highway, it'll give you the safest route. Different, you have your backup camera. You can also control what you see on the camera system. There you go. So you can see where your, your tow hitch is there when you're trailering. Air conditioning is set up, nice and cold. Visors. Again, this visor will lower. You have all your docking lights. Now those are going to be so you can see around the coach at night when you're parking and, and getting set up. Overhead fans. High low medium is your engine brake. Nice thing about that is when you're driving in traffic or so you just let off your gas and it'll actually slow down the engine without having to worry about riding the brakes. You can control how the front fan levels. You can also start the generator from inside the coach. You notice that when I was outside I actually turned off the generator you can actually turn it on from inside here. With a generator, you have to prime it first until you see the yellow light go on, and then you press it and hold it, and it's pretty quiet. So I'm gonna shut that down from outside, or from inside. You have your entry lock. You also have your air horn. Nice solid air horn. Gets people's attention, especially when you're in traffic, you know. Courtesy lights. You have your visor, also your 360 camera. So once again, we're talking about the 2023 Newmar, new, I'm sorry, Dutch Star. It's a 4081. And I'm Nathan Clark. My phone number is 719-660-3566. If you have any questions regarding any of the, the coach that I just showed you or anything else on the website, please give me a call. I'm happy to help.